Joining me now is California Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Chairman Schiff, your, your colleague, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, once labeled Attorney General Barr a henchman for the president. I wonder from today's testimony if you'd agree with that statement. I certainly would. Uh, you know, I've always said that he's the second most dangerous man in the country. And what he's done to that department uh, that I served with uh, for almost six years uh, is so uh, reprehensible and, and dangerous to the rule of law because there are now two standards of justice. There's one for friends of the president and there's one for everyone else. If you're a friend of the president, you get a reduced sentencing recommendation or in the case of Mike Flynn, your whole case gets to be made uh, to go away. On the other hand, ordinary Americans not connected to the president, uh, they don't get any such breaks. Uh, and what's more, Bill Barr threatens to use the power of the Justice Department to go after the president's enemies. Uh, so this is a very precarious situation for the rule of law in this country. We look more and more like an emerging democracy than we do uh, the strongest democracy in the globe. Uh, and a lot of that has come as a result of Bill Barr's uh, corrupt handling of that department. Yeah, an emergency democracy or a fading democracy, I guess. I mean, if you look at Bill Barr's actions going all the way back to when he refused to release the Mueller report just a month into his tenure and instead issued his own four-page summary of it, which was misleading, uh, to the firing of Jeffrey Berman, the U.S. Attorney General in New York. Uh, today's testimony that the DOJ allegedly exerted pressure to go easy on Roger Stone, I mean, it is part of a pattern, though, of just protecting the president. And there were reforms put in place after Watergate to stop just this kind of thing. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, from the earliest days of this presidency, uh, Donald Trump has stepped on all these norms of office uh, post Watergate, where the White House wasn't going to interfere uh, in particular cases, especially those that might implicate the interests of the president. But it wasn't until Bill Barr that he had his Roy Cohn, that he had, uh, as the speaker said, his henchmen in that position to essentially do the president's will. Uh, no matter how craven that would require the, the attorney general to be. But that's exactly what we have here. Uh, we have an attorney general uh, who was willing to mislead the country about Mueller's investigation. Uh, indeed, mislead the country about his own interactions with Mueller. Uh, and now we see a continuation of that by the effort to uh, force out the prosecutor, the independent U.S. attorney from New York. Uh, Barr's dissembling to the country about his resignation. Uh, Barr's dissembling to the U.S. attorney from New Jersey, who apparently he also uh, misrepresented uh, that Berman was voluntarily resigning. So this is an unscrupulous attorney general. Uh, and when that is the top law enforcement officer in the country, uh, it spells real danger to the republic. House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler said today he may, in fact, pursue impeaching Barr. Initially, it said it'd be a waste of time. Do you foresee that? I mean, is, is that a real possibility? Because obviously Republicans control the Senate, would, would most likely stand behind Barr. You know, I will leave it to uh, Chairman Nadler uh, and the Speaker to make a decision uh, of that uh, nature with respect to Mr. Barr. Uh, I do think, though, that it's very important that we expose the full uh, wrongdoing of this administration, both the wrongdoing of the Attorney General as well as the President of the United States, uh, so that uh, as we move forward, the American people know exactly what they have uh, in this administration, which is one that does not value our democratic institutions or the rule of law. Uh, and therefore is a danger to every American. Uh, if you think that the president won't go after you uh, just because you're a friend of the president, uh, well, you may be right at the moment, but he will turn on anyone he perceives as a threat. Uh, so there is no safety or security even for the allies of the president. I wish uh, the members of the House and Senate, uh, my colleagues in the GOP, would realize that. They are vulnerable too. No American is safe when the attorney general uh, is not looking out for the interests of justice, but only looking out for the interests of a president who uh, makes common cause with autocrats and disdains democracy. Barr is now set to testify before the House Judiciary Committee in late July. I mean, during his Senate testimony, he wasn't the most forthcoming uh, with answers. Do, I mean, do you think you can actually learn something this time? I think it's important to, to put the questions to the attorney general, uh, whether he answers them or answers them truthfully, to expose his lack of character to the American people. But Anderson, I think you're right. Probably the more important testimony is the testimony that we heard today and that we will, we will hear from other whistleblowers, uh, and that is people who can expose Bill Barr's wrongdoing rather than just hear Bill Barr deny his own wrongdoing. 
Uh, so I think some of these other witnesses, they may not be as high profile, but in fact, they may have even more important things to say. I thought Don Ayers' testimony today, the former Deputy Attorney General under George Bush, who talked about the systemic threat to the rule of law, was among the most important testimony that we've heard. So these, these, all of these witnesses, I think, are going to be crucial. Mm. Chairman Schiff, I appreciate your time.